Hello, my name is Keisha Lara and I'm a code supervisor with the Austin Code Department. Today, we are here to present an overview of the 2021 International Property Maintenance Code, the IPMC, amendment process and share major proposed changes. The IPMC is a model code that regulates the minimum maintenance requirements for existing residential and commercial buildings. The IPMC is intended to establish minimum standards for basics such as structural conditions, lighting, ventilation, sanitation, and fire safety. Today we will review the 2021 International Property Maintenance Code referred to as the IPMC and the proposed major changes. The City of Austin will adopt the International Code Council's 2021 IPMC updates from the current 2015 IPMC. The Austin Code Department established an amendment committee to draft proposed amendments to the code. Purpose of the proposed changes is to ensure public safety and maintain consistency with other codes. So as you can see here, uh, we have the 2021 code adoption timeline and we are on track as of January, um, ACD internal committee finalized recommendation. The month of February, ACD um, proposes recommendations to the executive team and city of Austin stakeholders. And now in the month of March, um, we have prepared this presentation and we will meet with the public and stakeholders um, to begin the process. So the primary goal, the purpose is to aim to ensure public safety when unsafe or hazardous conditions are found on a property by requiring action plan for repairs from the property owner. And the second item to receive approved accommodations for the occupants. So the first major change that um, we come to falls under section 108.1.3, which is titled structure unsafe for human occupancy. And the proposed language would read as follows. If the code official finds a structure unsafe, the owner of the property shall provide an action plan for repairs to the code official and provide approved accommodations for the occupants of the structure within two days of notice. And the reason why we wanted to propose this additional language, because as you know, um, last month, February, the state of Texas and the city of Austin, you know, we sustained a severe weather storm which left many occupants without water. So this is a perfect opportunity for the Austin Code Department to add language that would assist us to be able to regulate and ask property owners and require them to, to give us an action plan and also to provide accommodations for the occupants or tenants of their properties. And if we can have this proposed language approved, then that gives us more um, teeth or regulations to hold property owners accountable so that all residents and tenants can still um, sustain a certain level um, of a habitable space. Because of course, you know, as we all experience, you know, when you don't have water or electricity, it, dis it disrupts our um, living. So the second place that we want to add the same language is with um, the plumbing system hazards, which is section 504.3. Um, and it's a combination. You have the structural, the plumbing, electrical, and, me and mechanical. We basically added the same language to all of these sections. 
So for the plumbing system hazards, you know, if the code official finds a plumbing system hazard, the owner of the property will provide an action plan for repairs to the code official and provide approved accommodations to the occupants of the structure within two days of notice. So our next section is 505.4 water heating facilities. If the code official finds that water temperatures are below 110 degrees Fahrenheit, the owner of the property should provide an action plan for repairs to the code official and provide approved accommodations for the occupants of the structure within two business, within, excuse me, within two days of notice. Our next section for the same language, um, 602.2, residential occupancies. If the code official finds that the room temperature does not maintain a minimum of 68 degrees Fahrenheit in all habitable rooms, the owner of the property should provide an action plan for repairs to the code official and provide approved accommodations for the occupants of the structure within two days of notice. And our last section that we added the same language is 604.3 electrical system hazards. If the code official finds that the electrical system in the structure constitutes a hazard to the occupants or the structure by reason of inadequate service, the owner of the property should provide an action plan for repairs to the code official and provide approved accommodations for the occupants of the structure within two days of notice. And we thought it would be best to add this language to each individual sections so that if we have a different scenario, we have the language in our property maintenance code to cover different situations that we may encounter at a particular property. So, Here's our timeline again, and we've added additional steps as far as what's next. So that to let you know, we will be accepting public comments and questions and feedback. So right now we're in the month of March. Next for April, public feedback finalized, sent for legal review. The month of May, recommendations proposed for BSC through June and August, City Council public hearings in September approved by City Council. And if we're successful, it will be implemented. So I just like to say that um, we are online with the other departments to meet the goal to have it implemented um, September 1st, 2021 and that we have met with the other departments such as DSD, the fire department. I think it was very important for us to have those meetings because we want to make sure with our proposed changes that we aren't causing any conflict within the different codes because we don't only have the IPMC, but we have the International Residential Code, the International Building Code, the Fire Code, you know, we have the um, uniform plumbing code. So we want to make sure that the city of Austin, that we operate on one accord. So that is our goal for this year's um, amendment process. So um, if you have any questions, please submit your questions or comments using the comment section of this page. If you have any additional questions, please email code communications at austintexas.gov. Thank you.